Hey guys, so this week we're taking a look at a few variations of uh, loaded carries. Um, first up we've got the figure 8 uh, farmer's carry. So this is generally done at a decent walking pace. And rather than it being done um, you know, with the goal of maximal loading, it's about really controlling the weight, keeping each weight in each hand running parallel and horizontal to one another. Um, so you're fully controlling the weight and as you turn uh, the corner each time there's a lot of control required and need and strength in the the wrist and the grip yeah so by the end of the set it's really the forearms that are screaming and uh, letting me know that I've had enough here so with the figure eights my recommendation would definitely be to drop the weight slightly from a normal farmer's carry use a weight that you can fully control and then progressively overload it from there so next up is the suitcase carry. Here we are um, just working with the weight on one side of the body. This is where I start most clients and this for me, for most people, is where you're going to get most benefit, especially initially um, from these carry variations. Uh, it's Obviously you've got a difference in weight from side to side and what that's doing, it's really challenging the glute med and the opposite QL as the foot lands and it's teaching the pelvis to stabilize properly um, through the gait pattern. Basically it's, it's teaching the brace muscles of the core to talk to the stabilizer muscles of the hips, which is gonna be a very good thing to carry over into all uh, loading circumstances. Next is the Zercher carry. Uh, it's a front loaded carry here. We're challenging the mid upper back um, to stabilize that load. Obviously with the load in front of the body, it's gonna be pulling the torso forward. So it's gonna be working the muscles of the mid back to hold that good postural position. You can do these Zercher carries with virtually anything, including a barbell. Here I've got uh, a kettlebell I'm using on the second variation. I'm holding this one uh, probably a good six inches out in front of the chest to really have to force that um, those muscles of the mid back to work to hold me in that position I'm after. Uh, up next I've got a variation of an uneven carry. Obviously again we can use just about anything here to challenge the core in, uh, in different ways. So here I've got a medicine ball in my left arm, holding that sort of like in the zercher position and then a kettlebell overhead. And obviously as the weight goes overhead, the challenge on the core definitely changes and puts a lot more demand on the shoulder girdle itself, which carries over really nicely to overhead lifting. And to finish off, we have a traditional farmer's carry. Here's where we can all put the pieces together of the exercises prior and do get some real work done with decent weight and improve that sort of overall body strength that will carry over really nicely to uh, just building a stronger, more stable, more resilient uh, frame for lifting. All right, guys, hope that all helps. Let us know how you go with it. Cheers.